For a question like number five, um, X is just something that you are looking for, so you don't know what X is. The things within the parentheses, the first um, particle, which in this case would be P, represents a proton, and a proton has an atomic num a mass number of one, an atomic number of one. The second par particle is an alpha, which means a four, two, alpha, or helium. So the way this works is the first particle is your reactant, so this will be my reactant. And the second particle is your product. So you will have a reaction that will be sort of as follows. So you have X, which we don't know, plus a proton, 1, 1, will go and form an alpha particle, so a 4, 2, plus, in this case, carbon, 12. So basically, you need to find the atomic number, sorry, and the mass number of X, and then you can identify what X is. And basically that will be the same thing for all of them. So in the second one in B, you got 27, 13 albuminum plus D, which in this case is deuterium. And deuterium has an atomic number of one and a mass number of two, will form alpha. So four, two plus X, and then you have to solve for X. So that's sort of how these things work. So in the, at the end of the question, I gave you sort of how some of the compounds look like or some of the particles look like but you should have a cheat sheet when you're taking the quiz to know how each of these particles look like always the first chemical is your reactant and the first letter within the parentheses is your reactant the second one is your product and the last element or symbol is also your product so reactants that way and products the other way so go let's do number six and just try to go backwards so my reactant is nitrogen 14, so I'm going to write 14N. You could potentially also write the 147 nitrogen. Then we'll have the particles. So we open the parentheses. In the first one, we have alpha. Then my product will be a proton, so P, P. I close my parentheses, and then I can do 17, 8 oxygen. Or to make things a little bit easier, I can just do 17 oxygen, because since I know it's oxygen, I know the atomic number has to be 8. 